Hi there. Now, in this video, I want to talk to you about how we use the scalar product to work with perpendicular vectors. And in this video, I'm just looking at two dimensional vectors. So, suppose we've got the vector A defined with components A1, A2 in the i and j directions, respectively, or as a column vector, just A1, A2. And I've got a similar result here for the vector B. Now, if you've watched the earlier videos in this series, you'll know that the angle between the two vectors a and b, let's say we define it as the angle theta. Then I showed you this result that you should be familiar with, the cosine of angle theta equals a dot b divided by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b, where a dot b was equal to a1 b1 plus a2 b2, and the magnitude of a was the root of a1 squared plus a2 squared, and a similar result for the magnitude of b. Now, if we take the special case, that is when the angle theta is 90 degrees, that means the two vectors a and b are perpendicular, then the cosine of 90 degrees, we should know, is equal to zero. And if that's the case then, this fraction would equal zero. In other words, the numerator a dot b would equal zero. So we've therefore got that the vectors a dotted with b would equal zero. And by this result here, it would follow that a1 multiplied by b1 plus a2 multiplied with b2 well, that too must equal zero. So this is a very important idea which can easily be extended to three-dimensional vectors. Now, I've got a couple of examples and here they are. You might in fact like to uh, try them. But for the first one, we've got other vectors a equaling 2i plus 3j and b equaling minus 5i plus 4j perpendicular. And so, to test this, all I need to work out is a dotted with b. And by this result here, it should equal 0. So, we've got 2 times minus 5. I'll show the working, rather than just saying that that's minus 10. And then, to this, I add 3 times the 4. So, just got the 3 there, times the 4. OK, so minus 10 plus 12 here is going to give us 2. And clearly, that doesn't equal 0. If it equaled 0, we know that they would be perpendicular. So, are the vectors perpendicular? Well, the answer is, therefore, a and b are not perpendicular. Now, in this last example, we're given that a and b are perpendicular, where a is equal to 3xi minus 6j, and b is 4i plus j, and we've got to find the value of x. So for this one, let's start by saying that since a and b are perpendicular, we would know that a dotted with b would be equal to 0. So therefore, if we multiply our components together, we've got 3x times 4. So I've got 3x multiplied with the 4. And then to this, we add minus 6 times 1. So we've got minus 6 times 1, and that should equal 0. So a nice simple equation. Here we've got 12x minus 6 equals 0. So therefore, rearranging it, we get 12x would equal 6. Divide both sides by 12, and you end up with x equaling 6 twelfths, or better still, 1 half. So I hope that uh, gives you some idea then. If two vectors are perpendicular, we use this result that the scalar product or dot product, a dot b, will equal zero. Okay, 